Welcome to the Lighthouse Theater. The time is now as we get set for what should be an incredible matchup. I'm Todd Grisha. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali, six foot three inches tall, the best to ever do it. And across the ring from him, Rocky Marciano. He's five foot ten inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. Undefeated. There's an amazing reach advantage, which you do not actually realize is there until you get popped by that jab. The distance that's great is ridiculous. And yes, he is the greatest, Muhammad Ali. Fighting out of Louisville, Kentucky. Float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Rocky Marciano, the Brockton brawler himself. One of the greatest fighters of all time. A sparkling record and one of the best to ever do it. They have waited for this fight for so long, Todd. This is ridiculous. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. In the red corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist and legend of boxing, the only three-time lineal heavyweight champion of the world. He floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. The one and only, the greatest, Muhammad Ali. Hiding out of the blue corner, here is a Hall of Fame legend from Brockton, Massachusetts, a Ring Magazine world champion, and an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, the Brockton blockbuster, Rocky Marciano. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. Todd, I love this place. The atmosphere is usually second to none if you get the right fights in. What a great venue and what a great matchup. Cannot wait for this one. Marciano with one of the best right hands in boxing history. If he catches your flush, it's good enough. Straight right, just misses. Can't find a home with that jab. Typical outside fighter, as you know, focuses on this. Are we about to witness history? The great Rocky Marciano in serious trouble. With a boy's catastrophe there. Caught sleeping on the job. What you do, you step back, steady yourself, you compose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to go Oh, do you believe this? Rocky Marciano is down! I don't think we can truly appreciate what we saw unless we see it in slow motion. A shot from the gods took him out. So he's up and the corner has the white towel. Are they going to throw it and stop this fight? Get up, look at his corner. Look at his shot. They're telling him to calm down. Make the most of the count. Get up, breathe, and move. Get behind the referee. Save yourself a bit of time. They just need to make their way back to the corner. Somehow get to the end of the round. Halfway through the round, and they've got some work to do to get back into it. Not the best start, Bob. You know what? The cornerman now is time for them doing their job. Get through the round, regroup, like freshen up, boom, different tactics. Oh, do you believe this? Rocky Marciano is down! It looked great live. How will it look again on slow motion replay? You're right, Tom. What a shot. Referee says we will fight on. Not sure about this one. It 
Now it's about getting back to the corner, pressing up, got new instructions given to you, and they've got to do what they've got to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. As well to block that left jab. This is with the jab. Not the best of rounds with 10 seconds to go. Counter punch got him clean. This is a very important. They ring the bell, and here we go. You've got to be feeling confident now after what happened last round. Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that. That's more on impossible because your head must be all over the place. Your legs are feeling like jelly. What can they do in the corner? All they can do is wake you up. They can't even go into game plan. Trying to let it all hang out here in the game. When you're training to fight a swarmer, you got to focus on your conditioning because they will push you to the edge of your limits. You fight a swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. Just can't find the target. Happy Marciano was supposed to be the one knocking this guy out. How did they survive that? Being a tough bounce. Happy Marciano in trouble. Do you believe this? And here he comes, finally waking up from that nap. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. There's no one dare do anything out of turn. And so far, the offense has been better than the defense. Witnessing one of the all-time greats go down. Oh, do you believe this? Rocky Marciano is down. You could see it in their eyes. They saw that punch coming, and there was nothing they could do. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? Many people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. Well, there's no argument right there. Not that you say it. Night, night.